Today I wanted to talk about Bimmy. So what is Bimmy? A lot of this is uh, brand new for uh, most people, but what Bimmy basically is, is it allows you to create and upload your own logo to populate in other people's inboxes. So for example, here is the before Bimmy side versus after Bimmy. So you can see Grubhub here. Um, it just has a G um, and you can just see the who it sends by, right? Same thing with National Geographic, same thing with Food Network. Versus on the right hand side after Bimmy, you can actually see the Grubhub logo here. Same thing with this National Geographic symbol and then the logo for Food Network as well. So it just allows you to populate this logo in other people's inboxes so that you get more brand recognition. People um, know that it's actually coming from you and not somebody who is um, trying to be you to trick them or fool them um, or any type of spam. So currently, um, these are all of the people that are uh, supporting Bimmy. So you can see um, Apple Maps, or sorry, Apple emails on there um, starting of fall 2022. Um, Fastmail, uh, all of the Google, so Google, Gmail, um, La Post, Yahoo, AOL, Netscape, and then The Zone. So these are all different ESPs that are actually supporting Bimmy currently. These are the ones that are considering Bimmy. Maybe they're in negotiation or process. Um, so you can see those there. And then this is who does not currently support Bimmy. So if there's anybody who has a Microsoft um, Outlook email, for example, that you're sending to, it'll still show up as um, the regular like letter versus all of these other providers, it'll show up as your actual logo. So what is the implementation process like for Bimmy? So this is a implementation guide from Bimmy themselves. Um, so it's a couple of different steps. The first step is um, making sure that you authenticate all of the organization's emails with SPF, DCAM, and DMARC, ensuring that everything's aligned. Um, so this all has to do with your DNS records, making sure those are up to date, making sure that those are aligned perfectly so that once we get Bimmy set up, it'll work properly. Um, that being said, I want to make one note here. It is set up to have a, a DMARC policy enforce a reject policy, which basically means um, nobody besides your authenticated self can actually uh, make it into the inbox of someone else. So if you, like, let's use Leave Love as an example. If we have leavelove.com and somebody else is trying to um, use uh, part of our domain to fool people into thinking that it's part of Lead Love, um, they would have to be 100% authenticated with these records in order for their mail to actually send and make it to somebody's inbox. So the chances of that are almost 0%. <laughs> um, the next step is producing the S S VG, a tiny PS version of your logo, um, which I can definitely do that. If you want to give me your actual official logo that you want to use, I can take care of converting it and making sure that it fits into the um, BIMI uh, standards. The next thing that we want to do is acquire this verified um, mark certificate. It does say optional, um, but the thing here is that only Yahoo is currently um, allowing you to display Bimmy without the certificate. All of the other um, platforms want you to have the certificate to make sure that you are who you say you are. Um, so this is definitely, even though it says optional, it's definitely recommended. Um, the last thing is actually publishing the Bimmy record in the domain of your DNS. Um, again, that's something I will take care of. Um, I'll go ahead and create and then publish that record. And that will allow Bimmy to be showing through and take you from here to here.